usually don't like to do long introductions to my videos, but I wanted to explain the reason this video does not show the very beginning of this project is I did not start off intending to make a video. I was simply fixing my jacuzzi off on air switch. But as I was going along, I learned some things which I would have liked to have seen in a video before I started, but that video does not exist. Now it does, so you can watch it. This video does not show the start, but I do show everything I did to make it work. You gotta get this off. And I wasn't planning on doing a video here, but it kind of went well. And I think it's going to go well, so I'm going to make it. It's got these button things that go on there. And it also has, because it doesn't have an electronic switch, you can flip with your switch so you don't get electrocuted. It has this air thing that they call a bellows. And oh, it looks on the bathtub side, comes around to the access panel, connects to this air hose which goes back into where the pump is back underneath here and hopefully you won't have to mess with that. And what this does is this is connected to the air hose and then pushes back into that and when you want to turn the hot tub on you push this button and it goes back and it pushes this thing. But like everything else that these companies do they build this thing to fail. So it pops a hole in it, and then one day you're sitting in the bathtub naked, wanting to have a jacuzzi, and you push the button, and it doesn't go on. So you've got to figure out how to take the whole thing apart. Okay, now listen. When I'm doing a project and there's a danger, I don't want somebody to say, oh, I told you. I like very clear warnings. Removing the air control knobs is easier said than done. The knobs are probably corroded on, plus they have plastic stems, which are very easy to break. To make matters worse, Jacuzzi has stopped making and selling the old style air controls. So if when you break those stems off, you're going to have to buy and retrofit using new style air controls. But if you're aware of these issues and you're careful, you'll be fine. Is you've got to get your screwdriver on this side and you got to get your screwdriver on this side and you got to pull that thing out evenly on both sides. breaks really easily okay so if you pick your screwdriver and you put it in there and you wedge just from one side you're gonna break that thing off but basically what you have is these have a tab that is in this corner and this corner, okay so what you need to do is get a knife or something or what I did a kitchen knife like this and I got in underneath Okay, underneath here, and I pried it up, and I was able to get it. Of course, I broke it, just that one part there. The middle one, I cracked in two. But once you pull those off, um, you pull those graphics things off, what they call graphics, because it's got the little, uh, can you see the bubbles on there? So when you turn these things each way, reveals a screw here, 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 and here, and you pull those off, okay, and then you have to, as I was saying, pull this thing off, which is shoved away in there when it's in, and what I do, what I did, what you've got to do to make sure you don't break it, is you've got to get your screwdriver on this side, and you got to get your screwdriver on this side, and you got to pull that thing out evenly on both sides. Because if you get it cranked in the way they've designed it, I'm t and it's, it's nasty. You can see where it's like corroded on there. It, the, you will snap it off. And then you've got to buy a new internal air part. And if you have to replace this and all the guts in that, that's like a $150 part right there. And just to be a real comedy act, Jacuzzi has changed out, I understand. They've changed out how they do the internal parts on these air things. But that's the trick. And you pull those off, and easy, 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 and then you get them off. So now, what I have to do is figure out how to get a new bellows going here.
Just looked on eBay. There's this thing, this bellows right there from a guy that looks like a pretty good seller. Seventeen fifty shipped free. Guy I bought that from on eBay. He sent this. I ordered this like three days ago. I think I ordered it on a Wednesday. Today's Saturday, and he already got it to me. Let's, I think this thing just sticks on. Or should I use a tie wrap just in case it ever gets loose again? What do you think? How about I just leave it the way it was and don't mess with it? So that thing is just going to go right back into the hole like that. These pieces will go like that on here. And. Whoa, I didn't think that thing would come on unless there was water in here. But I guess I don't need to check it. I was going to fill it up with water and check it. Okay, well, now it's time to put this thing back together. First thing we do is put this part, and as I already talked about in the other part, we want to make sure. And while I'm messing around waiting for this water to fill back up, I will point out that this thing has a top and a bottom. And when you pull it off, you want to make sure that you pay attention to how it is before you undo this so you put it back on. These notches that they have bashed out there, that when these are on there properly, there's a stop that when they're shoved in there far enough, it keeps this from going too far one way or the other. And it has to do with these little clips here on the bottom. So I thought I'd just point that out. Talk about in the other part, we want to make sure these things are correctly situated for the air. Remember that the way these go on, this is, that is the correct way. You want, I want these knockouts at the bottom because otherwise it doesn't turn at all. So these knockouts at the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this back into place. When this thing goes back in, it has a little tab here. There's a tab there and a tab there. The big tab and a little tab. And those are going to go in. Just pop them right in, I guess. Just, I guess, this is just going to be caulked around the edge, right? my notches at the bottom and then just put the doggone thing on, right? Okay. And we'll wiggle it into place. Drain closed so I don't lose any screws. And this thing is just going to, yeah, it just snaps into place just like that. Then the glue will be all the way to the top of that crack, which is what I'm trying to shore up, just to give us some reinforcement there. These things, these old ones, you can see where I had to use my screwdriver and I bent that up. And I've shown you where on the inside how nasty this is, both of them. And I took some close-up pictures 
where I used the epoxy and filled it in to try to make these durable. But you know what? When I went to put them back on, I'm just not comfortable shoving these things back in there with that grimy dirt. So I said, what the heck? And I bought two new ones that paid $12.99 with free shipping. Inside there, that black stuff is, lo and behold, a piece of metal. And not stainless steel metal. And not aluminum metal. This just goes back to, I think, that they want you, when these things get corroded, I think they want you to break these stems off so you have to rebuild the whole thing. When you simply just want to replace the air button. This air button, you should be able to, un this thing should like screw in, pull that air button out, put a new air button in, screw this back on, and be done in 10 minutes. It should not be this huge video that I just showed you. Let me zoom around. Off and on. So that when this thing comes on, because if I shove this dirty, filthy one on there, it's not going to want to come off today. Let alone in 10 years, if the thing lasts that long. And so I've done that on this side, where I'm just going off and on and off and on. And on this one, I'm doing the same thing. And off and on and off and making sure it's sliding. So if I put this on, just like that, then hypothetically, this thing slides on over the metal, right? Just like that. And look how nice and easy it comes off. It does today anyway. And they both could just go on nice and I could walk away. And that, and that is how those are gonna work. Just as I was patting myself on the back about how well I did, I just realized I had not stuck this particular knob on far enough. Okay, see it's got to be all the way in for those things to catch, that that's catching. This one's not, and once again, can you see it's got a little tab at the top? Took a picture of that for you, and that tab has got to be up underneath the graphics ring. So, that answers the question about what comes off first, the graphics rings or the knobs. The knobs, the graphics ring. So that means I'm going to take this graphics ring off. That's fine. So pop the graphics ring off. And then put this thing in. And good. And then finagle the graphics ring back. Some close-up pictures, just that, that graphics ring, how that's got to get into, situated into that hole correctly. Just like that. It's up in there. And then the bottom one has got to get seated up in there too. And then kind of push it all around. And then it kind of, whole thing just kind of snaps into place. <laughs> More or less. Okay? And once that thing is all the way in place, then that's when this thing will stop and I put the thing back on there correctly. So, like I say, that answers the question about what, co what comes off first. You got to pull the graphics rings off first. So, Okay, so here's where I was two or three weeks ago, sitting in my hot tub naked, wanting to take a hot tub, and it was that I had to take this thing and push it all the way in and it wouldn't go on, and all the way in and it wouldn't go on. Here's how it's supposed to work. Just barely. Just barely touched that. And it goes off and on. My air knobs are working perfectly. 